Hello guys, welcome to Start Pro Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about conical slab tank. So let us begin the session. Initially, select new project, select space, give name, and let the units be meter and kilonewton. And select next, select add beam finish. Now, initially, you select it to front view, then go to geometry, then structural wizard, select surface or plate models select cylindrical surface then give length as 2 meters and start radius will be 2 meters let it be 3 meters end radius will be 1 meter sweep angle is 360 degrees number of divisions along length will be 2 and number of divisions along the periphery will be 18 well you can see here the model will start at point 0 comma 0 comma 0 but it will end comma 0 comma 0 comma 1 so this will be in different shape. I will show you once. So you can see if we keep the default parameters then we have this shape which is 3D view and front view will be this and top view will be this. The reverse happens here. So what we will do is we will just select this 0 and select here minus 2 since we have length 2 meters minus 2 select apply. Now you can see this is the top view and front view will be this and this is the 3D view what we require. So transfer this model to main start pro screen at a distance of 12 meters from 0, 0, 0 so it will be exactly departure at 10 in y axis as you can see. Now going to geometry once again run structural wizard selecting frame models reverse cylindrical frame selecting length 10 meters and radius will be 1 meter angle 360 degrees number of base along length 5 number of base along periphery 18 select apply now transfer this model to main start of screen with the coordinate 0 comma 0 comma 0 beginning select ok now duplicate uh, nodes ignored a dialog box appears select ok so now you can see our cubical slab tank however we will create a circular slab here so using surface meshing we will select all the nodes and number of divisions will be 1 select ok ok now the blades are created for you as you can see The blade element for circular slab is created. Then going to general, select define, select rectangle 0 0.25 by 0 0.25, select tile, then select thickness, select 0 0.2 meters, select add. Now assign this property to the whole all beams and then plate thickness to all those plates. As required. <coughs> Going to supports, what you'll do is you select front view and remove the bottom beams so that supports can be formed there create pinned support assign this pinned support to all those bottom nodes well then coming to loads and definitions 
first we will add is seismic definition we will generate seismic definition as per our IS code 1893 select generate city will be Hyderabad it will be important building soil will be medium soil 0 0.05 percentage select generate select add sulfate factor related be 1 select add plus now you can go to load cache details select add select earthquake load if you are applying seismic load make sure you create first earthquake loads later on dead loads and live loads earthquake load in x positive direction and the other one will be earthquake load in z negative direction two will suffice for now then comes dead load then comes load case 4 for more shapes select add select earthquake load next positive direction select add select seismic load select add now going to earthquake load in z negative direction select seismic load z direction give factor as minus 1 select add going to dead load first will be self weight then comes his plate load which will be hydrostatic select all those plates using plate cursor well you can see the required plates are selected select done select interpolate along global y axis from 20 to 0 0.001 kN per meter square along local z direction of pressure will be select add then going to pressure on full plate you select minus 20 kN per meter square select along local z direction ok global y direction or you can select or local z select add close now go to front view select these plates before that you need to select the load and select these plates now assign to the selected plates so you can see the loads are being applied However, all the loads are from outside to inside due to water pressure well next going to sulfate assign it to view which will get assigned to the entire structure then going to load case 4 since for more shapes we will use eigenvalue extraction method select sulfate in positive f direction in positive y direction and in positive z direction mode shapes are only calculated for now mode shapes are only calculated for self weight select add now before that you need to assign this to the structures then you need to add model calculation fine you can add few load combinations too using auto load combination selecting indian code selecting general structures four will be sufficient select add us now that we are done with load combinations next one is you can go to design part select design tab select concrete select IS code 456 define parameters FC which will be 30,000 kN per meter square select add as well as FI main 
which will be 415000 kilonewton kilo per meter square. Then defining commands, beam, design column, design slab element, and take off. Now assigning FC to the whole structure. Similarly, F5 main to the whole structure. Coming to design beam, what we will do is we will select only circular beams now assign to the circular beams coming to design column we will select all the vertical columns then assign it to those selected coming to design element select all those plate elements with plate element cursor then assign to those all plates now that you are done with design tab you can go to analysis and print select mode shape select add then you can select post print and define few commands first one will be load list select add next will be joint displacement select add next member forces add Support reactions add, mode shapes add, close. You need to also go to commands and provide the cutoff mode shapes, which will be default value 6. Well, whatever you require, you can provide. Assigning this to the view. and performing analysis so there were errors but uh, there were warnings but no errors so you can go to output file directly Okay, there are length to depth ratios in beams. Well, you can see eigen solutions are obtained for 20 modes with frequencies, periods, participation factors, as well as. So you can see here 99 it is obtained here 299 concrete design then joint displacement member forces support reactions mode shapes so you can now go to post processing select ok mm, you can view the displacement for the particular load case then for the load combination going to beams you can obtain the graphs of any beam you select plates the contours are obtained for any type of load As you can see, then going to animation. Okay, we'll go to dynamics before that. In dynamics, you can see the mode 1 and mode 2, mode 3 for different combinations. It doesn't occur only load case 4. We have selected for the mode shapes only self weight
now going to animation select mode shape give extra frame 75 and target fps will be 80 select apply select ok so you can see for mode shape 20 it was and this is for 6 and this would be for 1 this would be for second mode shape in this way the mode shapes are obtained and a cubical conical sorry a conical slab tank is designed and the analysis is carried out by viewing the reports output file everything else you can even select any mode shape you want and later on you can select escape So this is the end of the session for more videos subscribe to this channel thank you for watching the video